Charles Martel was a Frankish mayor of the palace. He rose to this office as the son of Pippin the Middle, whose appointment was marked by succession struggles over which the Merovingian king no longer had any influence. Under Charles Martel, the development that had begun in the early 7th century towards the rule of the mayors of the palace as kings continued. At the end of this process, the Merovingian kings were only puppets of the rival noble factions until Charles Martel's son Pippin the Younger, a Carolingian mayor of the palace, became king of the Franks and replaced the old dynasty. Charles also tried to assert his rule on the outer borders of the Frankish Empire. The campaigns in areas outside his previous area of rule lasted from 718 to 739 AD. The military activities were directed against the Frisians, Saxons, Alamanni, and Bavarians, as well as the regions of Aquitaine, Burgundy, and Provence. The extent to which the respective territories were incorporated into the Frankish Empire varied. Apparently, Charles did not always intend to integrate. Muslim Arabs and Berbers, and Frankish sources Saracens or Ismaelites, had conquered the Visigothic kingdom in Spain in 711. In 720, they also occupied Visigothic outposts in southwestern Gaul. They increasingly penetrated the Pyrenees and threatened Aquitaine. Duke Eudo of Aquitaine was able to repel the invaders at Toulouse in 721. Posterous people particularly remember Charles Martel's victory over Arabs and Berbers in the Battle of Poitiers in 732. He gave the Carolingian dynasty its name. His military successes earned him the nickname Martellus, the Hammer. Pippin the Younger was a Frankish mayor of the palace from the Carolingian dynasty and king of the Franks from the end of 751. He was the younger son of Charles Martel and the father of Charlemagne. Karl der Hammer, König der Franken, er erfüllte den Willen Gottes. Karl der Hammer, König der Franken, er beschützte das Frankenland. Heiden schlugen unseren Nachbarn und Bruder. Aber das höchste Gebot bleibt ewig. Er selbst, Christus, ist Gott und Herr. Vor ihm beugen sich Völker und Reiche. Karl, der Hammer, König der Franken, er füllte den Willen Gottes. Karl, der Hammer, König der Franken, er beschützte das Frankenland. Sprach Otto zum König, hilf meinem Volk. Die Heidenmänner hatten es schwer bedrängt. Karl erhob das Kampffestbanner am mutigen Tag, den der allmächtige Gott sandte. Er nahm Schild und Speer und lobte Gott, nannte seinen Namen Heiliger. Manche durchbohrte er, andere stach er nieder, sein wurde der Sieg. Karl der Hammer, König der Franken, erfüllte den Willen Gottes. Karl der Hammer, König der Franken, er beschützte das Frankenland. Wer ist der Herr, das Licht in der Dunkelheit? Fürchte dich nicht, denn er kommt in Güte. So regierte der Herr über Sodom und Gomorra, Schwefel und Feuer. So bin ich über die Feinde des Frankenlandes gesandt. Karl, der Hammer, König der Franken, er erfüllte den Willen Gottes. Karl, der Hammer, König der Franken, er beschützte das Frankenland.